Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puff Go Peak dab of the day. Today is Tuesday. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. What do we do to take care of ourselves? Think about it. We speak all the time about our doctors. Oh, my God, we don't have the doctors. What our loved ones do for us. What our family does to us. It's amazing how we have become like those CB radio people I've talked about before in the, pardon me, in the rocking chair. Person out front, person behind, and all you're doing is driving. So we muddle along because we've had this care system. Well, is that true? Or is that flawed thinking? Let's talk about it. Are we really reliant on other people? Somewhat, yes. But think about it. What do we do for ourselves? We do a lot for ourselves. We do an incredible amount on our own for ourselves. Don't get credit for it. We don't take credit for it. It's kind of like that autonomic thing, like breathing. Well, we even do stuff around the home for others. We even do stuff out of the home for others. So wait a second. So are we really the victims? Are we really the people that, oh my God, we need help? Sometimes, yes. But there's a core belief that I think we're missing. And that core belief is that we all are the ones that are doing the work. The we, the people like me, like you, are the ones running the show. Think about it. It's not just what we do thinking about what we do. For example, oh, I got to do this today, or I got a list I got to do. How about the stuff we do every single day autonomically, automatically? We don't even talk about it. So as bad as we think we have it, and I'm telling you, I cannot believe how much pain I've been in for the last month and a half, six weeks at least. When this pinched nerve start, it hasn't stopped. But we still do things for ourselves and for others. So whether it's the pain that gets you down, whether it's depression that gets you down, whether it's frustration that gets you down, whatever it is that's your issue, you need to remember you have been productive. And you're going to say to Senior Stoner, what the hell is he talking about? How can we have been productive? As sick as we are, as useless as we are, guess what? That's flawed thinking. We are not useless. We are not just stuck and, and having people wait on us hand and foot. We also provide things for our loved ones, and we provide things for ourselves. Pardon me. Sugar! Stop it! Thank you. Stop it! Ah! Stop it! She's digging. Stop it. Trying to make a spot to lay in on the carpet. So what happens is we lose sight. Sugar, stop it! We lose sight of how great we are. Think about this. We truly do. We have become, I believe, dependent, kind of habitually needing others. But I am here to tell you, yes, of course we need others in our life. But, 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 we do a hell of a lot more than we think we do. Let's talk about it in detail. Let's see now. Do you wash yourself? Do you groom yourself? Do you cook a meal? Do you take care of an animal? Think about this. As bad as you have it. Do you do any shopping? If your spouse works, maybe you have to provide things and conveniently make it for them. Did you ever think of that? Did you ever think of the credit you should get Mrs. Stone is working like a dog and gets credit. You ever think of the credit you should get on the other side? 
the person that's home managing the house. You know, people who work full time aren't the house managers. As sick as you are, you are. That's right. Any contractor comes into this house or through this house or to this house, they're coming through me, not Mrs. Stoner. So where's the credit that I give myself for doing that? It's lost a lot of times because it's lost. You're feeling sorry for yourself. Let's face it. We all do it. It's lost because you're saying, oh, my pain is the worst pain anybody has ever had. Oh, it's lost because, oh, my God. But guess what? It's not lost. It's not the worst pain anybody had. I don't mean to belittle my pain or anybody's. The point is we are making it through. If we weren't making it through, I wouldn't be talking. Since that's the case, think about this. Since that is the case, we are making it through. One step in front of the other step in front of the other step. Breathing, thinking, talking, alive. That means we've been doing it ourselves. You don't see anybody around this room with me. We're doing it ourselves, but we're thinking like we're not. Does that make any sense? I think I know why it happens, too. When we were little, children, babies, people did things for us, our parents. When you're sick, sometimes people help you. It's called learned helplessness as an adult. And it's sometimes something that you make happen yourself. And I'll tell you why. If everything was done for you, and you were the job of the hut, or if you've ever seen Wally, W-A-L-L-E, the movie, about the future, where everybody's a bleh, because they don't do anything anymore, and they just are blobs of fat that blow into a pipette to control the computer. They can't even move their bodies. They're... Their hands have shrunk to the size of little flippers. Their feet have shrunk to the size. They look like walruses, basically. Well, that's not us. We haven't become like that. So stop thinking like that, senior stoner. Stop thinking like that, senior stoner fans. We, believe it or not, are productive people. My God. It must, even to myself, it sounds like I'm speaking French on that one. We are productive people, even with our limitations. We are productive people, even with our pain. We are productive people, even with our disabilities. We must give ourselves credit for this. This is an internal, intrinsic thing. Why? Because it's going to spin you up a little bit. That's right. In a world of thinking you can't do shit, when you wake up, boom, and say, wait a second, I'm doing a lot, you will gain respect for yourself, you will feel, feel more upbeat about yourself, and you will be poised for the circular living that I always talk about, because you don't know what's at the next curve. There's always hope, and there's always opportunity. We have to remember that. Cannot lose sight of that. There is always hope and there's always opportunity. Because we live circular. Remember that. Let's take a Puffco peek. Dab of the day. I hope you're noticing the audio. And I hope you're noticing the video quality. I've upgraded. And I hope the sound is good. Check one, two. Here we go. We are very, very valuable people. We have tremendous self-worth. You know, I'm going to talk about affirmations on a separate, uh, on a separate discussion, but this is, is an incredible opportunity for us. This could be a deal breaker for us. We are about to embark on really creating new thoughts about ourselves, creating new thoughts about ourselves that have always been there that we've never taken advantage of. Think about it. Cheers. And have a great day out there.